What's up, guys? How's it going? We're going to be pulling shards today for the 2x, 10x for Ragash. 1% chance to get a legendary from Ancients because it's a two times chance. Hopefully, we get Ragash. If not, I hope I get another champion like Rodos. Wouldn't mind a duplicate Foley. Wouldn't mind a Harima or something else that's crazy good, of course. And then um, from the, I think from Banner Lords, I wouldn't mind Staltus. Staltus is also a really good champion. But other than that, let's get into it. Let's see what we can get here. We'll pull our two shards first because we have 52. And then we'll go ahead and do our 10 pops. All right, so we got an epic right off the bat. Kanoichi, she's going to be fed. I already have her. Decent champion, not the best, but she's decent. All right, we got a rare Lamella. 10 pop time. Juliana, I think she's actually new. So that's not bad. Iha, I always pull I always pull her. And then a Fenchi, he's good for Fire Knight, but I don't really need him. So Juliana here. We've got brand new. I don't have her. She's got the HP burn, she's got the poisons. She was given a buff in the past. I mean, she hits pretty hard, but she's not that crazy good. And then I don't really like her aura. It's in arena battles only. I wish it was in all battles or, you know, I guess you could use her in arena, but nobody really uses that crit rate aura that much in arena. At least not early game. Most people just use a speed aura. All right. So Yelagurna, Alika I already have, Muckstalker I already have. Alika, I did build her to max rank. She's okay. She hits really hard in Arena. She can do the increased cooldown, so it's not bad. Gearhard the Stone, not a terrible champion. He hits hard, but I think he's still... He definitely should require a buff because his aura, I believe, is in Doom Tower. Doom Priest, a very strong champion still. Good for clan boss, good for general progression. Nagorio, I didn't get him as the easy epic fusion. Hope, I hope she gets a damn buff. She's okay. I mean, she does have, I think, one good ability. Maybe two. But she's not, like, game-changing. Gory. Uh, good for Fire Knight, the new Fire Knight. He does have the freeze, I believe, on his ability. Let's take a look at Hope, though. I think she's new for me. So Hope, she got the block buffs A1. Meh, it's okay. I guess it's alright for Faction Wars. Okay for Hydra, not the best though. But the A2 was way better. 25% shield on all allies. And then this one's pretty good. The A3 with the removing of all buffs. But I mean, other than that, she's okay. She's not the greatest. She's just okay. Plus, like, her defense is so bad. 800 defense, but 21,000 HP. And she's an HP base champion, but she does damage based on attack. That's ridiculous. Why is her damage based on attack? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Make her damage based on HP. So that we can scale her better. I doubt that she hits that hard. And nobody's really using her for damage anyways. They're going to use her for support. Either way, I guess it is what it is. Let's go ahead and just see the champion chase here. I wasn't really planning on doing it, but I kind of wanted to get duplicates. Or just get a new champion. I was really hoping for like a Rodos or something. 52 shards is going to go towards my pity counter. My pity tracker. So I'm 52 deep now. And I have to pull another 168. I'll probably end up hitting my mercy. We'll take all of these nice little goodies here. Got ourselves a legendary skill tome. We got the fragments. And we're looking pretty good on the Jetney Fusion. So yeah, not bad. But I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. You know, I really appreciate everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys can pull something amazing this weekend. Please consider subscribing, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Take care.